Hello ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to show you how to play Sid Meier Civilization 5 online with Mac and Windows, how to get cross form and how to be able to play with Windows and Mac compatibility even though it's very simple for um, the company to do what they just haven't got around to doing it for some reason and it's I don't understand why they can't just make a few tweaks like we're about to do now. Um, the side effects of changing basically your version, um, not really that much. Um, maybe stop future updates. Uh, when yes, when uh, not, when it is updated again, you're probably going to have to recode uh, your uh, update again to um, the newest one for Windows, or if they make one for Mac and Windows at the same time, then you won't need to. But if Windows gets updated and Mac. You, you Mac gets left behind obviously because you've got the old Windows you're going to have to update it again and find a new version okay so it's pretty simple really what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, our game files of Sidmar Civilization uh, where are they? properties here and browse local files Okay, so now we have it here. So now what we're going to click on is show package contents, context, info p dot list, and then we're going to open with text edit. And this is what we're going to do to change and be able to be compatible with Windows and cross platforming or multiplayer. Okay, so here we have our text of what our version is. I've already changed mine, and what I'd recommend what I've done is I've saved a backup version of before I'm going to change everything on this. So I'd save uh, the version you ha currently have now and save it onto your desktop or whatever and put like info.plist backup or whatever you want to put that as. And then we're going to change the whole text and version of this. I've already done this, but I'm going to show you how you're going to do it anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to go onto a website, pastebin.com, and I'll just link it in the description so it's dead easy to find here. What we want to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the raw paste data. Now this is what we're going to change to be able to play online. This is how it's uh, going to be the same version, or the computer's going to think it's the same version, and the system's going to think it's the same version as the Windows, so we'll be able to play uh, against Windows. So we're going to copy basically all of this, and then you're going to copy all of that. And then what you're going to do, you're going to have to paste it in your info.plist. Get rid of all of this, delete all of this, and paste your raw, raw paste data into info.p.list. But make sure you delete all of this, otherwise it will not work. Okay, once you've got that done, you just save it. Restart Steam. You don't really need to restart your computer. And you'll be able to play. So I'll just load it up and I'll just show you against uh, Windows computers, hopefully. Me and my friend have done this and it's been working on and off. Uh, it takes a bit of time for the system to adjust, obviously, to the new data, but I recommend internet games if you're going to do it only do local network with this if you really got a good internet connection where you can both uh, use it. It only works with local connection if basically no one else is using the internet and using it, which isn't the case for most people so I'd probably recommend an internet game um, but I suppose whatever, you, whatever really is better for you you can do that. Make sure to go and subscribe to the channel uh, so I can bring you some more help Okay, so now we're back on Civilization. It will work if you've got most of the DLC. Yeah, it works for Gods and Kings and Brave New World. If you're stupid enough to pay £20 for a DLC, then yeah. Uh, so just basically click multiplayer, internet. And there's not many here at the moment because it's the morning, but you'll be able to join these games. These will probably be on Windows. And you can do local, set up a game, whatever you want. And they should, it should all, all work as you see more people are coming in now. So it's it's that's really how you do it. I mean, 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and please give it a like if you, it's helped you and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.